So our program is called the Emergency Safer Supply Program. Um, and what we're doing is we're offering prescription grade um, opioids to people who are at high risk of death from the contaminated um, fentanyl street supply. Um, so our program has grown over about three years to encompass about 100 patients at this point. Um, and like I said, it's targeting people who are very vulnerable um, and at extremely high risk of death. So right now, the reason the majority of people are dying from opiate overdose is at a rate of 11 people per day um, is because our street market is predominantly fentanyl. And so when patients are using the street supply, they have no idea what the quality or quantity of opiate that they're going to get in their, in their street drugs is. Um, and that's what's leading to our overdoses. So by giving people a known dose of a known drug, we protect, protect them from those overdose deaths. Within the program, we have really great comprehensive care. So we're seeing all of these patients every single week um, during their weekly appointments. So we're monitoring their drug use. We're talking to them about safer drug use practices. We're working on their chronic medical issues um, like their HIV care or their diabetes or their sexual health care. We're also working on their social determinants of health. Um, so we're working on their housing, their food security, their safety, um, their income support. Um, and some great numbers that we have is in three years, 100% of the patients who entered the program Program were homeless and we've been able to move half of those about 50 patients into housing. Um, we've also seen really profound improvements with the patient's connection to the healthcare system. So within these patients um, almost none of them um, would visit a doctor regularly um, and now they're seeing me or other members of the team every single week for their health care. So this isn't just about providing drugs, although we know we are um, um, protecting people from the street supply, but it's also about re-engaging them in healthcare um, for patients who have been systemically excluded for usually most of their lives.